one. Welcome back, Legion. Just wanted to talk to you today about uh, a recovery strategy that I think is probably the most important and you should get on top of before any other recovery strategies um, that you might be going for. So I'm talking about sleep. I did a small little vlog on it uh, last time. I just wanted to elaborate a little bit more on the importance of sleep. I probably wanted to uh, bring it up now because I've actually noticed the effects um, over the last week or two. Uh, just didn't get enough sleep uh, last week, even though it was a bit of a deload week, I was, I was feeling quite flat. Um, so it kind of prompted me to maybe work on it a little bit more this week. Um, so what I've decided to do is um, try and get a little bit more sleep over the last couple of nights. Um, and it's actually made a really big difference. Um, in particular, considering my training volume's gone up, so I've actually been training uh, a lot harder, um, which has been really, really big focus to actually get more, more sleep. So why sleep is so important is what I've got on the board here. So first one, muscle recovery. So going through this type of program, we're damaging the muscle. Like that's the point of, of the program. With the damage of the muscle, then you recover that mu muscle damage and it gets stronger and bigger. That's the idea. The best way for that to happen, obviously um, outside of nutrition, is muscle uh, recovery of sleep. Um, which ties into your growth and development um, and your your hormone balancing, so your health and balance of hormones. So when you sleep, you're gonna get a big influence of growth hormones and testosterone. Obviously everyone knows that, that that's the stuff that makes you get bigger and stronger. They spike while you're sleeping. So if you get poor sleep or lack of sleep, then you're not gonna get those spikes. You're not gonna get that big promotion of those um, growth hormones. Um, other things like replenishment, um, and repair of blood vessels and um, your heart as well and all your cardiovascular system which is still really important because that transfers all those nutrients around your body so even though you might not be getting fit per se it's important to have that good circulation so you can get your proteins and your carbohydrates into the muscles um, one big thing here is your immune system as well so when you're under fatigue you're training really hard your immune system is suppressed and it becomes susceptible if you add sleep deprivation on top of that, you've almost got no fighting mechanisms, so you'll pick up sickness really quick. If you're sick and can't train, there's no way you're going to get bigger and stronger in the gym. Um, it also helps with uh, fighting fatigue and any kind of cognitive function, so you know, things like improving your learning, helps brain work properly. Um, those kind of things are uh, impacted significantly. I mean, you would have seen it if you only have a, a big night out, you know, you're not functioning very well the next day, are So it makes it really big important. How that then can affect um, your next day. So if you have to go and train, for example, well, it's not going to be very good if you're mentally fatigued. You're probably not going to want to train. You're actually probably just going to skip out altogether. All of a sudden, consistently gets thrown off. It's going to be really hard to make um, those kind of progressions. Um, and just little things like helps improve your, your concentration as well. And a big one is improves your mood. So better person, that's, that's not the worst thing. Um, making good friendships and and de-stressing is also really important when we're talking about athletic performance and um, generating some kind of performance in the gym as well. I'm sure I'll probably have another vlog on this at some point because that's how passionate I am about getting good quality sleep. It might be something along the lines of how you get better quality sleep. Thanks.